Have you ever come back home from a photo shoot, transferred all your footage to your computer and realized that you've been shooting in 1080p instead of 4K? <sighs> I've done that. Or maybe a client sent you one of their own video clips from like 10 years ago that they really want you to incorporate in this new video that you're working on. Even though it's a really old MP4 in like 720p resolution. Yep, that's happened to me too. Well, I'm pretty excited to say that I think there's a solution for this out there, for all these types of problems. And the solution is AI, artificial intelligence. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time photographer and videographer uh, living in Sweden. Today, we're talking about machine learning, AI, like artificial intelligence that can help you restore and upscale your footage to whatever size you need for your project without losing any quality. If anything, I think you'll probably gain quality. It's pretty insane. I've tried on a bunch of different video clips that I have, and I, I honestly cannot believe like the results I'm seeing. The software that I'm talking about is called Video Enhance AI from Topaz Labs. And I purchased a copy of this maybe like two weeks ago. So uh, I've had some time to play around with it. And uh, I've got to say, I'm so happy that this exists. And not just because it's like fun to upscale and restore old videos that I made back in the days with my friends, like stuff that we shot on cheap DV cameras that I can turn into 1080p or maybe even 4K with 60 frames per second if I want to. Abort! Abort! What's going on? But aside from this like fun hobby aspect of it, there are some actually great use cases for this technology, for this software in my day-to-day -day work as a filmmaker and video editor. Like one thing that definitely comes to mind uh, that I briefly mentioned in the intro as well, is that when you realize that you shot an entire video in 1080p instead of 4K. Like maybe your intern was playing around with the camera and accidentally changed the settings without you noticing, or maybe you like updated the firmware on your camera and it just, wiped all your settings and you didn't realize it until it was too late. Like whatever the unfortunate reason may be, you ended up with 1080p instead of 4K that you might have promised your client. Well, let me tell you, you can stop panicking. Just edit your video in 1080p and whenever you get the thumbs up from your client, you just run that finished 1080p video through the software and upscale it to 4K resolution. It's going to look like you shot in 4K from the beginning. Or if you actually want to edit in 4K, you can toss all of your video clips into the software and batch process them all and turn them all into 4K before you even start editing. Obviously that's gonna take a lot more time, but I mean, that's up to you and your workflow. I personally would probably go for the, uh, the former option, like turning the final video into 4K instead. But this software can also be quite the lifesaver for that inevitable moment when your client asks you to incorporate one of their own clips into the video that you're working on. Trust me, if it hasn't happened to you yet, it will. It's either going to be a very old clip that is very important for them to use in every single video because it's part of their brand guidelines. Even though it's terribly outdated and even though it's only in 720p resolution. Or it might be like a video that one of their own employees shot that caught a really great moment in their business. So it really needs to be in this video. I mean, too bad that the employee shot this great moment on his phone. And not like on the new iPhone or anything. This was definitely the employee at the company that is still using a flip phone for some reason. But now, you're kind of prepared for these moments as well. Now we can at least upscale these videos to a reasonable resolution. Usable resolution. And if you want to, you can even double the frame rate, make it a little bit smoother, maybe even turn it into slow motion if that works. And when you manage to not only use your client's clips that are so important to them, but even make them better, that will probably do wonders for your video and for your client relationship. Now, I'm not really going to dive deep into this software at all. This isn't the tutorial. Maybe I can make one in the future where I know the software even better. But right now, there's so many AI models in this software and I haven't tried them all out yet. So I'm just not in a place where I can tell you like which models or which settings are gonna work best for you. Because the thing is, there is different AI models inside this software, and they all have different settings, you know, depending on what it is you want to do with your video. I mean, do you just wanna upscale the video? Do you wanna restore old footage? 
Do you want to turn that into slow motion? Whatever it is you want to do, there are different AI models for it. But I know there are some really good videos uh, on uh, Topaz Lab's own uh, YouTube channel, so I'll leave a link uh, to their channel down here below or, or up in the corner somewhere so you can check their videos out as well. I would definitely recommend you go check them out, especially if you do end up getting this software and want to learn more about how to use it and how the different models work. It is probably very good to know though that you will most likely have to experiment with all your clips anyway. You know, try out the different AI models. And there is definitely a chance that it might not make your video clip better if that clip is just beyond saving. All the clips and comparisons that you've seen in this video uh, are video clips that I've upscaled myself uh, and that I think worked and that I think worked really well. I mean, just check this one out. I can't believe how good this looks compared to the original. But then there's also examples like this one right here that I just could not get to work. Although I gotta say, this video clip in particular is a 720p video that I downloaded off of my own YouTube channel. So it's a really old video to start with that has gone through YouTube's video compression and then re-downloaded again to my computer. So it just has a lot of problems and artifacts. So I'm not, so I'm not really surprised that it didn't work well, but maybe I've just been using the wrong settings. So I'm gonna keep experimenting and see if, if I can fix it. But with that said, I still love this software. I think it's going to be, um, I think it's going to help me a lot in my work, probably in ways that I myself haven't even thought of yet. And it's also going to be fun to try to restore like old home videos for my family. Let me know in the comments down below how you would use this software because uh, I think I need some inspiration too. Give me some inspiration. Uh, and with that, I think I'm just going to end this video right here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, learned something. Something. If you did enjoy this video in any way, please feel free to give it a like. It is the uh, very best way to let YouTube know what kind of content you enjoy. Uh, and it's a great way to help my channel grow. So it's a win-win for sure. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos on filmmaking and photography. Now uh, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.